What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sakina, and I'm back for another review. Today, or not review, did I say review? I'm so used to saying that, y'all, but I'm back for another Vlogmas video, okay? Um, today, we are making Coquito. If anybody is not familiar with that, that is a Puerto Rican eggnog. Um, I tried some before, actually, truth be told. I tried it last year, right, while I was vegan. My uncle told me to try to drink. He said it was alcohol, so I'm sitting here drinking it up, having no idea that it had all kinds of different milks in it so i'm mad at you uncle ben but it was good okay now that i know i'm gonna go ahead and veganize it all right for anybody who is familiar with coquito and love it they just can't enjoy it anymore because it's not a vegan drink here we are remixing it up doing our thing okay so i'll show y'all the ingredients all that we have and then i'm going to put all of it together so this is like a cooking with kina but you know just a drink or a cocktail edition if you will nonetheless yes i'm gonna show y'all how to make it so let's get into it i totally forgot to tell y'all that i got this recipe from a youtuber his name is simply food by ty i decided to go with his recipe because it was real simple and basic compared to the thousands of recipe videos that i've watched shout out to him i am going to go ahead and veganize his version of coquito okay like i said y'all don't steal material you always got to shout out the people who are originated from all right so let's really get into this all right y'all so as y'all see obviously we're at the stove now we have the seasonings here or the tea that we're going to make so we do it with some cinnamon sticks let me tell y'all these cinnamon sticks are expensive as hell he used four so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing use four of the big ones all right um, I guess this is the biggest one. All right, so we got four sticks in there. All right, now that we have that in there, we have the star anise. Y'all, it was hell trying to find this, okay? I suggest y'all go to y'all local farmer's market. That's where I got mine. Or you can go to the um, any Mexican stores. He said throw the whole pack in here. And this is to make the tea, like I said. So this smells just like licorice, y'all. He said use the whole thing. But everything that he had, he had the same pack. He had the same brand and the same amount of packs, and he just threw everything in there. Um, I wasn't able to find cloves in this pack, so what I did was went to Kroger, and they had them. So he poured the whole pack of everything, like I said. So what I did was use a scale, okay, and did the ounces. I had to find the ounces online, y'all. I got to get real creative with my stuff. But um, I end up putting them in here to weigh it out. So it comes out to about three teaspoons. If y'all don't have the pack and y'all just have it, the whole cloves like this, just use three tablespoons, and it's equivalent to this. So, yeah, put that in there, and you got to let it... Let it brew. He said two tablespoons. I mean, not two tablespoons. He said two cups of water. And you want to make sure that it comes down, that it boils down to about a cup of water. You want to wait until it brews down to a brown substance. So, like I said, like you're making tea. So, it's boiling, as y'all can see now. And I'm going to come back and show y'all what it's supposed to look like when it's ready. All right. So, we have our strainer here. And it's what y'all just rinsed it off. So, let's see how much we have of this. He said, use a strainer so you won't have little pieces floating around. Okay, look at me. I did one cup right on the money. All right, so just let it brew for like a minute or so. I mean, not a minute, like five minutes or so, maybe five to 10 minutes on high. And once you see it start reducing down, then that's when you take it off. So we have the perfect amount that we need. A new angle who it is no i'm kidding but yes i wanted to come down here so y'all can see me okay but this is the easy part of it so this is when you just get to pouring everything in a bowl and mixing it up all right so we have our sweetened condensed coconut milk i got this from whole foods for anybody that is wondering yes it is vegan um pour this all in and um they said it's easier to get this out if you warm the can so that's what i did i just poured it over poured some real hot water over it and it made it a lot easier because i've seen a lot of people struggling with this part in their video so that was easy as hell and then we have the evaporated coconut milk and i got this from whole foods too Let's see. oh shit what was i expecting that to come out like that all right so I know some people do a lot of this, they make a lot of this, but 
I don't know if my household is gonna eat all of this. So then we have coconut milk. And I got this from, um, I got one of them from a Hispanic store. I know I said Mexican store earlier. Excuse me, y'all, I'm sorry. But um, a Hispanic store earlier. And I also got another can from the farmer's market. It was one of those Asian farmer markets. Markets. I forgot the name of it. Um, it's like something with an N and something with a D. I don't wait, it's flashing, y'all. Do it like this so I won't be everywhere. I feel like y'all can't even really see what's going in the bowl. Hold on, y'all. Let me bring y'all down a little bit so y'all can see. Okay. Y'all ain't let me know y'all couldn't see. And then we got some crema de coco, okay? I also got one can from the Hispanic store and then I got another from uh, the farmer's market too because the Hispanic store that I went to, it didn't have a lot, a lot of stuff in stock. I think it's probably because of holiday season and this is a popular recipe. Everybody rush into the store to go get their ingredients. Um, this what it look like, y'all. <gasps> oh, okay. And do it like this so it won't be splashing everywhere. All right. And y'all always make sure, I know, listen, I know a lot of y'all do it anyway, but just, just to make sure for those who don't, please rinse your lids off the cans. Make sure y'all always rinse off your cans. Before I started the video, I rinsed all of mine off just so I can be ready for the video and not really doing too much while I'm filming. So yes. So now that we have it, just so y'all can see what it looked like, y'all see all that um, sweetener at the bottom, the condensed milk. This don't smell good, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. We do have to add the um, tea we have here. So they say mix it up real good, okay? But honestly, I think I'm gonna put this in a blender because it does have some chunks in it and the goal is to have it real smooth and silky, all right? So let me go ahead and add this. I wonder if I should add the whole thing though. Let me see, we should do a half cup right now. Let's, let's go for a half a cup. Just because like I said, I am making a smaller portion than what he's making or what he made in the video. So yeah, we're gonna do a half a cup and you can always add to it instead of just dumping everything all at once and then not tasting right. So hopefully this give me, gives me what I need, okay? If not, we may have to add more, but um, yeah. Y'all pray for me because I'm about to put it in the blender and let's, let's taste it out from here or test it out from here. So y'all seen that I blended it up. Now let's put it back into this bowl. Wait, I know that's not lumps. No, I think it's just the, the foam at the top. All right, so now that it's all smooth and whatnot, Oh yeah, I did see some people was adding vanilla extract in it, so, you know, this always adds a, a, a little kick to your dessert. Let's add a little bit, y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> always pouring more than what I need. Okay, let's mix it though, because that's a little razzle dazzle. All right, I added another cream of that cocoa because that's my business in the words of Auntie Tab. Um, let me taste it. Might you wanna say hey to the camera? Hey to the subbies? Hey to the subbies. Everybody be asking, well not everybody, but they be asking you to be in more videos, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got a little excited. I'm joking. <laughs> because I feel like it's good. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Um, let's try to add a little bit more of this because I know it's the tea that I made. It's the um 
star anise, cinnamon, and cloves. I'm sorry. Um, my person in the background is asking what it is. So, yes. Um, I feel like I need to go ahead and use that because I know I'm not going to put it towards anything else that I cook. So, yeah. It's best that we go ahead and use this up. You better taste it. I did. As you using it. Y'all, is she in the video? Is is, is she the the suicide? The sh no, I can't even say. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> the sous chef. Okay, is she is she the sous chef? Y'all try to say that three times in a row. Tongue twister. Okay, no, she's not. She doing her own thing in the garage, in the garage, and she's trying to tell me what to do. Okay, let me try it again. I like this, y'all. Shit. Fuck it. Put the whole thing in there, okay? Now, now that we got this popping off, now, I don't know if it's because this is like the vegan version or not, but it usually looks a bit whiter from what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's because we aren't using the original products per se, but yeah, it's usually white, so I don't know. Anyway, let's get to the exciting part, right? Because I like how it tastes. So, hello, Bacardi, meet my subscribers. Subscribers, I'm pretty sure y'all know Bacardi, okay? I mean, honestly, we don't really drink Bacardi no more. You know, we do more high-end things. But, um, dang, should I leave some out? Because there are children here. I don't know. Maybe maybe they should get a taste of it. I don't know. What y'all think? I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, so we got my mom trying it out. Very coconutty. Yeah. Oh, well, you hit your target. <laughs> Very coconutty. Uh, yeah, like we have coconut. coconut milk, cream of the cocoa, like evaporated that. coconut milk, and condensed sweetened coconut milk. So, yes, this is a coconut. I don't like coconut. Okay, but that's what it's based it's off of coconut. coconut. It, it serves its purpose then. Okay, well, now it's time for the lick. Maybe that pussy. We've made the executive decision. Them kids, no. <laughs> but as we pour up, like I said. Okay. We gotta ease it in, okay? We can't go too hard. Let me see. Mom. Where's your spoon? I threw it away. You said that was the purpose of the spoon. You said that was the purpose of the spoon. I did, but I changed my mind. I'm in the words of Keisha Cole. All right. Mm -mm, I need more liquor. Way more water. I do it like this because it be splashing everywhere. <laughs> Extra. I don't have time for the people. James, you you dip your spoon in you if you were really pretty. Shut up. We get now. Let's do it again. Take me to the island. Take me to Puerto Rico, okay? Cause I need to be there. Give me a fine Afro Latina man. Cause all Puerto Ricans is not black for those who think that. All right, let's try it again. Okay, just a little bit. One, a little bit more for the road. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, y'all. It's brown. Like, I, we, 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 my spoon. I want to try it down. 
Now I'm going to try it, babe. Okay, you got two right here, so the people can see your face. Let me see. Come on. Sit on my lap. Too thick for me to sit on your lap. I am. What Brian say on uh, Ready to Love, thick thighs save lives. <laughs> Don't spill this on my Or your dog Gucci is pants. breathing me. Coco, get down. Makes it a lot thicker. Mom, it's not a, a thin drink. It was thin without the liquor, as crazy as it sounds. Cuts down the cocoa taste. And you cut in, you need to be in the camera. Oh, mm, sorry. And look right there. Cuts down the cocoa taste, slightly. But, mm-hmm. You know, go get Omar. We're gonna have somebody else taste it that actually like coconut. She don't like coconut, so I don't know what I was thinking. Let her taste it. All right, so we have step that here. All right, um, mom, his spoon, King. Do you like coconut? Yes. Okay, I thought so. King. I'm on your drippies. No, I'm not. Exactly. I just don't want to drop it. I don't either. Y'all awkward. <laughs> That's right. That's good. Have you had coquita before? Mm -hmm. Do it taste like it? It's good. Yeah. It's that's good. not. That's <laughs> not. Yes. That's not. No. Yeah, it is. It is. But do it really? It needs to be cold. Really cold. Okay. Yeah, that too. Because Uncle Ben did serve it to me cold. Yeah. But you think it tastes like that? Yeah. Give him a Okay. Don't lie. Oh, right. How about I hold the dance for you? Yeah. That, that, that's just awkward. Actually, you probably should just get And you didn't put nothing in that damn thing. Mom! She be doing the most. <laughs> Good job. Oh, thank you. All right, from somebody who had Coquita before and they like coconut, they said, do I get two thumbs or one? Yeah, two. Okay, two thumbs up, boom. And I hope he not lying to me. Don't hype me and be lying to me. Okay. He he really wouldn't, but we on camera. Anyway, yes, y'all. So let me pour this in a bottle and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So here we are. We have it in a bottle. I use a measuring glass with a spout on it. You can use a funnel, whatever you see fit. Okay. Just get the coquito in the bottle. It tastes good. I really enjoy it. We got two thumbs up from somebody who actually likes coconut. Okay. Because that other one. Hmm. Her, she don't count. She don't count. <laughs> but I do want to give a shout out to Simply Food by Ty for uploading his video and, you know, allowing me to veganize his recipe. I will have his information about his channel in my description box. Please check him out because his video was good as well. It was pretty similar to mine. I mean, there wasn't no other way for me to really make it my own because i was copying his video but nonetheless yes shout out to him y'all get y'all some coquito like i said it's a good holiday drink shout out to it i'm about to pour me up a glass and watch a christmas movie and call it a night y'all thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all in the next video bye all right so i'm back and y'all seen that i was putting Other than heavy. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy day.